I grew up in Australia by the ocean, and so it's a big thing for me. I moved to London, so almost five years ago now, and at the time I was working for another startup, but I really wanted to work on something that, you know, that I really cared about. This is something that has a lot of potential to change lots of different industries. Every time you wash a, a single garment, you're releasing like thousands of microfibers. It's responsible for a staggering amount of the plastic that ends up on shorelines. And, uh, you know, a lot of the times you read this stuff and you're like, oh my gosh, that's so horrible. But <laughs> it's quite hard to actually do something about it because it, it's not an easy change to make if you think about the millions of kilograms of, of a single type of fiber that people buy each year. So at Nanoloom, we're making graphene-based fibers and fabrics for performance wear, so things like outdoor wear, ski gear. This is, a, this is an industry that's still relying on the last generation's technology, and it is incredibly polluting, but it's also incredibly high-performing. To really be able to replace some of these, your new material needs to be versatile enough to be able to outperform them mechanically. Graphene is the thinnest, lightest, and strongest material known to mankind, so it's 200 times stronger than steel and incredibly light. My co-founder, Alex, he is a material scientist. His focus has been to create these materials for medical application, and this one was created for wound healing and skin regeneration. It was created for medical application, but it's obviously got so many different applications and where can it make the biggest impact, and we both really uh, care about this microfiber uh, pollution issue, it's quite a real alternative to what we're currently using. To make the polymer, we bond it to biodegradable materials. This makes a, a brand new material and it's sort of like a honeycomb consistency solution. And then you can put it through a machine and it will spin however many meters of fiber you need. And then you can weave it into a fabric we do offer is you know this high level of customizability you know do you want to work on a, a jacket that has biosensors and temperature controls or a really good waterproof and, and breathable membrane there's a real space here for us to help brands on their sustainability journeys where they don't have to compromise on that mechanical performance side of things it will have like quite a lot of durability so it's going to have a, a fairly long life but we would ultimately want to get that material back and reuse it if it does end up in the sea or in landfill, we expect it would biodegrade within about two and a half to three years. And when it washes, it won't shed anything. It would be incredibly sad if we lost those marine environments and didn't take care of what we have. You have to look at commercial ways to drive that change. I really believe in the product and its potential for the future, how things are made, what they're, what people are using, and it's not an incremental change. It's a brand new thing that's, you know, completely disruptive, revolutionize your industry kind of change.